Hi, uh, just want to do a quick informal video about going through the better shipping app and setting up a restricted zip code shipping rate. And um, this will work for any country that uses zip codes or postal codes. Um, setup is, is basically the same. Um, so I've already got better shipping installed, so we'll just go into that. I haven't got any rates set up in this one yet, so we'll just click create new shipping rate. And here we can just name the name the shipping rate. Um, this will appear to customers. Um, you can also put in a little description message here if you wanted to add something uh, for your for your restriction. Now and then you choose a shipping zone. I've already got a domestic USA shipping zone set up. Uh, once that's selected, click next. Then it'll ask you, do you do you need to exclude any specific areas by zip or postal code? So we we do. Um, so we click yes, and here you've got two switches, one that says only ship within the specific postcode list. So if you've got a postcode list and you only want customers inside that with those postcodes or zip codes to be able to order, then you choose the top one. If you've got a list that you of, of zip codes that you don't deliver to, um, then you would use the exclude list. I'm going to put those in there. So we've got a list of include uh, postcodes, and I usually, if I... In the USA, I usually put them in the starts with, um, you can just put one, which would cover, um, you know, all of the one to 10,000 to, to 1999. Um, so that would cover the whole range if you just put one in there, but we'll just put a few in. I usually put it in the starts with um, zip code area because if, there's, if a customer's got a zip plus four and they enter like say, 1103 dash and then whatever the zip plus four is um, area is the starts with if you've just got 1003 here um, it will match that because it matches the first the first um, numbers there so it will match the zip plus four if you put them in here um, so we want that so we've just got a few in there and you can add as many as you want in here um, we've also got a list in the blog article um, which I'll put in that make sure it's in the YouTube um, description down there um, and in our help documentation, there we've got a list of of all the states and common things for the for the USA and the UK as well. Um, if you need some common zip code, copy and paste things to put in there to create your area, your specific areas. And um, once that's in there, just click next. Um, do you want to use per product? This this will this will um, depend on your shipping situation. We'll turn it on, um, depending if you want to use per product shipping or not. Or just the shipping rules. Uh, if you're using per product, you can set up. Um, well, that's even there. You can set up drawers. Maybe that'll cost fifty dollars to send. Bracelet three dollars. You know, set up your per product shipping rates here. Click OK. Um, once that's done, click Next. Um, here again, it's optional. You can set up shipping rules. If you want to set up a free over, we'll set up a free over $100 shipping rule. But there's all sorts of things you can set up in here. Um, you can set up um, price based rules or product based rules, weight based rules, vendors, tags, all sorts of things. Um, if you need help with that, just, just email us and let us know. We've got a, a switch here to say, do we want to change the name? So if, if this rule is triggered, do you want to change what the customer sees? So a customer, a customer won't see this shipping name. This is just for you um, to know what the rule is doing. Um, but here you can choose to change the name. So if our rates, called local, maybe if we, if we get a free one, we'll call it free local delivery. Um, so we'll change the name there. Um, and we want it based on order price, $100. And above, leave that blank. Um, replace the shipping price, and we want a free shipping rate. So add zero in there. So create the rule, and you can see it's here. Um, changes the name, price base rule, hundred dollars. So it looks fine. So click finish, and you've got your rate set up. And that's it to set the rate up. And you can then you can test it uh, if you go to your storefront here. Uh, I've already got one in there, but yeah, add add a, add a product and go to the checkout. Here, click check out, um, add in your address, and this is one that I did add. Um, so this, this should be included, so we should see when we click 
continue here, we should see the shipping rate that we've got. I think it was $3 or something I said that to. Yep, so here it is. Um, that's the better shipping rate there. And if we go back to the shipping zone and we change the zip code to say something we haven't got, we, we haven't got that one in our lists, we should not get a shipping rate. So go in here. Shopify is looking for one, no shipping rates, and it will display this to the customer and they can't click here and check out or anything like that. So they've got to go back and either um, change the items to ones that are available in their area or um, change their address um, up here to, to somewhere that you do deliver. Um, these messages here can be, they can't be changed by the app, unfortunately, but Shopify can change them in the language setting. So if you need to know how to change those, just send us an email and we'll, we'll let you know. Always happy to um, answer questions like that too. Um, and that's it.